Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 5 of the Danelaw campaign. Left off last time with a bit of an impulse decision, really. But one I'm fairly certain I can pull through with, because that looks very promising. Especially if they have a, almost the same number of cavalry as they do infantry. So... Got pro goal is to take Northumberland. We're going to have a naval battle here, which will feature a lot of light ships. Um, yeah, light ships, but one heavy ship. So if we can take out the heavy ship with Golden, building two more troops in Archer and Lothain. England has Tech Seven. I'm on Tech Five, but we're almost at Tech Six. Tech Six is a lot of infant. Tech 6 matters, Tech 7 is just cannons, which shouldn't do England a lot of good, especially when they have none. But if we can slowly whittle down the English Navy, we should be good enough to get this first war done. We're going to have to make the war very damaging though, so... Right, that's done. Ulster is on scutage, scutage, whatever. I'm gonna have to build a force limit. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use that one for this war. Then I'm gonna try and occupy Pale. Uh, send you to occupy Pale. Just to force those troops out. Oh, that's handy. Those are just... Yeah, they're just mercenaries. Did France declare war on England or did England declare war on France? I think that was France declaring war on England. Yeah. So we've timed this well. France is going after them as, at the same time. Yeah, so that might scare them off. We'll build force limit. We've expanded Denmark. So we'll take that as well. Do Ulster have any special ones? They do. Conquer Leinster. That gives them perma claims. That's handy. <laughs> Irish America. That'd be an interesting one. So they take that, and it gives them a claim on pale. Take pale. And then that's about as far as they'll go. <laughs> Tatoes. So, um, yeah, just checking I'm recording. Don't want to fat finger everything again. Right, they're going for there this time. They can go there all they want. Because they shouldn't be able to do much. This only needs six people on it. So I can pull off a few troops to fight him. Give him a general in that. This one should go well. Especially if they're all zeros. Oh, the rest of the Royal Navy showing up. Not a good time. They're going back to Lothane. There's, that's just um, farmlands, so that should be an even fight. They have infantry bonuses, but they don't have a lot of infantry in it. Or oh, we, oh. Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, I'm not taking a river crossing and hills. Let them walk away. Still, oh no, I lost a heavy ship. Always. 
need more heavy ships. Um, I don't need that many transport ships though. Listen, I don't need that many barks either, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Um, pull you over, because we've taken Pale. That's probably going to go to uh, Ulster as well. Oh, can't hand it to him. I'll hand it to him after the war. But what I mainly want from that is that. Because that means I don't have to do any sieges after the fact. That'll be more happy because that's a four to one of, of course. We vastly outnumber their morale but they have slightly better tactics I don't need the support for Renaissance, I don't feel. Uh, I think it's, yeah, it's already basically in Holstein. Holstein. So I'll just continue with this. Normal. Ooh, they're all happy, that's nice. Yeah, so don't draft the Scandinavian constitution. Because Sweden getting Denmark as a historical rival is a pain. They're already on medium war exhaustion, which is always a good sign. Seeing France seeds them down there as well is even better. Right. Scorch fort, so they, so we always, so they, it takes longer for them to reinforce. Poor Sweden. We're no longer a major power. We're close to it. Ah, they're, they're over there, is that? That's not all the heavy ships, though. I think I'd like to risk that one. Oh, go in here. Give him another heel tick, just in case. And I'm not seeing any other ships. All the ships I know of are down there. How many do they have? That's uh, 31. How many ships does England have? Um, uh, I think that's all their ships. Or close to it. I'll roll it again. Just I think that'll be better. Because I don't need someone who can move. I need someone who can fight. And namely, I just want to siege Northumberland, or blockade. They'll take the crossing. Right. Oh god, they have... Yeah, that's... Not as good. They have... Yeah, I'm going to need a lot more heavy ships. I need to know how naval combat works, really. I know there's a combat width, but that's about it. Right, that is a necessary tech. Because that means our troops have the same tactics, I believe, or enemies. Um, I don't know tactics, but theirs was seven last time I saw. Um, ours is one. God knows what that means. 
but it's going to be a slow walk through England. We have ticking. Forgot to scorch the fort, but I don't think we'll get pushed back to there. Um, I'll take the corruption. Money is temporary. Stability is much more important in my opinion. because money you can earn in much larger quantities. I wonder, can we take it all? I want it all. Right, no. We'll take, can we take that much? Barely. So now we know their heavy ships vastly outperform ours. Is it because they might have carracks? They're on seven, I'm fairly certain. Yeah, carracks are nine. Let's just take Christopher Gilbert in. Just namely to annoy the English. Because the English are going to pay for the Renaissance. As they pay for it, they're going to make me, they're going to enable me to own it. Oh yeah, we don't want to go in there yet. Thing, rather than deal with them, I'll deal with these first. I don't need to upgrade this diplomatic tech until um, I can go past it and get the next one, which is morale. Why, why why do you think going through York is a great idea? So what what is with their passing? Oh god, pretender rebels. This is a perfect time for pretender rebels. If I let them win, do I lose my um, personal unions? Should hope not. Right, that should be them dealt with for the time being. So this is a level 9 fort. Well, I say level 9, level 3, but it takes 9. What do they have? They have just infantry. Are they going on to... Yeah, they're going on to the fort. 
which they shouldn't be able to pass, so I can sit for a while and just um, reinforce. Because they've just got nine, and I've got a lot of time. Yeah, I'm going to take a few more loans, but that doesn't matter. Because England's going to pay for a lot of things. Too many, they have. They don't even have a leader. Another loan. Uh oh. Didn't pay attention to that. But it doesn't matter. I'm gonna try and keep near London though. They, they still really want to siege Dumfries down though. Whoops. But they're not too sure about putting leaders on things. worry if I don't get a full deal now they're just gonna grow again if they just grow again I'm never gonna be able to never gonna like get a deal from them that I want and there we go there's the capital we can't break at war though but we, we got 23 months Personal unions go and deal with it, or is it you're just gonna sit there? Run away. They really like blockading that one place, don't they? Oh god. Run away. Didn't lose a heavy ship. Okay. Come on, just deal with them. Fight them. Do I have to come over there? time do I have before they enforce? 15 months. I'm close, I'm, I'm feeling closer and closer to a victory. I want max money. Mm. 
greed is good. I'm almost out of manpower. Almost. <laughs> Here we go. That should push them. Oh, come on. York is a high dev one, isn't it? No. Yeah. High in quotation marks. I can get a bit more. The moment I see them starting to engage me, then it's peace. Like that. That's when it's peace time. So I can't take that because demand exceed war score. So can I get you to just um, end alliance with Portugal? Yeah, I'll do that. There we go. That is a start. First institution embrace. How much does that cost? Five fifty. Right, everyone, come back to the Danish. Everyone, go home. We need we need everyone home because pain is coming. Oh, now we're a major power. Come back to deal with these rebels in a bit. Also, need to need ships. Need um, to figure out where my income's going. Probably into these guys. But I'm fairly certain that's put us on a better footing to start the next war with England, which will be started via Offaly. Oh, England won't join. Oh, there. A thousand ducats in debt, I forgot. Maybe Sweden would like to help us deal with the rebels. Gonna slacken the standards. I get it, I get it. We've got six months. We can ship them. Get them across. We have time to prepare. And we have more troops. Come on. Not gonna be beaten by pretenders, are you? I think not. Send the king himself to deal with him. Oh, of course. Just kill them. There we go. Thank you, Sweden. You showed you took your sweet time. Tech up now. They can't force demands on the king's dead, can they? Not when we're retaking the capital. They're in one province. Please tell, please tell me it just changes the leader and they're still... yes, good. So I didn't need to fight them, what a shame. And he's better leader anyway. Everyone pop back over.
Nah, I'm not gonna build. Uh, I should. Because I'm not making. Uh, the period between making and not making money. I shouldn't have to wait. So they're not getting the diplomatic tech bonus, so I'm going to do that. And I'm hoping to get this one. It gives us plus 10 shock damage, which will help us beat the English. And we've got 51 PPEs. Very nice. ships I should I need a lot more potentially need that naval morale again but I think I want to integrate Ulster first because through the mission tree they don't get like a bonus to the land they just get claims and bonuses for themselves rather than us Ooh, he's a good leader as well save him for later train him Gonna need cannons as well. But we have a proper foothold in England this time. Oh, yeah, great. I'm glad I'm given a choice. I think I said that last time as well. We are making some money now. Is there an ability one that gives me manpower? Less tax, more manpower. I think I need the men over the money. Is there a interaction that gives me money? Not money, um, men? No. Ninety four is when that happens. They're mass building troops. That left you realize now I an animal in a cradle for a little boy, judging by his smile, he said never known fear. Two six six Uh where'd that deer go? Fourteen forty four. Oh no, seven. That one's marsh, that's hills. Yeah, decent place to put forts. Plant 
plan to full core these because I need to convert them anyway to Danish. Oh, there's a timer. But yeah, this this war went fairly well. We're close to well, close, yeah, decently close to cannons. Caught them. Gonna full core them now. Yeah, but yeah, we're close to taking up, close to cannons to beat the English even better. They debased currency three times from the looks. Um, they'll join that war, but I think it's better to wait, build build back manpower, and then fight them. So that's my plan for the next episode. On that note, like, comment, subscribe, ding bells. See everyone in the next one. Goodbye.